Hello and how are you? My name is Muhi Nombar and I will come you to our to our 28th lecture of mastering uh, Flutter user interfaces. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can design uh, this kind of uh, user interface, the one that you're seeing on your screen, and uh, how we can put all that knowledge together of what we've been learning in order to come up with something uh, like this. And also, we are going to look at different user experiences, I mean, as a developer, or different techniques that you can use as what when you're developing. As you know, always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our counter, and then we go straight into what today's business. So we are going to design this um, wallet what? Wallet dashboard, okay? So in the previous lecture, we were able to design this uh, dashboard. So we're going to design this kind of what? Of wallet dashboard. All right, so let's see how we can do something like this. So first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to do what? Uh, first of all, I'm going to create a new uh, screen of uh, wallet dashboard, okay? So how do we do that? I'll just simply come to our dashboard here, I mean to our mobile application here. And then after, I'm going to create uh, a new uh, screen that I'm going to call wallet dashboard, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So this is our menu route. Okay, a menu route. I'm going to duplicate this one and then come here and call this one wallet dashboard. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, our link to the wallet dashboard. Let's go ahead and now create our screen of valid dashboard. So I'll come up dashboard and click on new and then say file that I'm going to call wallet dashboard screen dot dot. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and say stateful widget. And then put that one all right so i can remove this and then i import the material and then after doing that the next thing we are now going to connect this wallet dashboard screen with our main menu so i'll come to our main menu route okay and then put the our what our wallet dashboard and then I save. Now someone should be able to click to here and then see this uh, completely empty screen that you can see here. So after doing that, now let's go ahead to our wallet dashboard and then we see how we can um, implement it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to return is scaffold. Remember this is what you want to target. So let's go ahead and turn this black screen into uh, this beautiful user interface that you can use for your wallet. So the first thing that you're going to begin, you're going to begin by returning a scaffold. And you have that white. Okay, so the next thing you're going to begin, I mean return background color of gray, uh, 100 of that scaffold. After returning that, uh, the next thing you're going to put now the single scroll view. Okay, single child scroll view as the what as the body of this scaffold okay and then in there we're going to put a what a column as the child of that single scroll view and then this column we're going to put now our up bar however you can put the up bar on top to be fixed but here is in case you want the upper to be scrollable just in case the screen is too small okay so let me go ahead and put the up bar as the first child Okay, so here I'm just showing you that even the upper can as well go in a what? In a column. So this is up bar. You can pause the video and uh, look at it. Okay, so we have that beautiful up bar, which has an elevation of zero, a background color transparent, and then a system overlay with uh, 
setting back uh, icon background of dark and then the status uh, icon of gray and then we had uh, uh, a leading of uh, this menu icon and then when, whereby when you click on it it will pop the page or go back and then we have here the actions which is uh, this button that you're seeing here for refreshing right, that is beautiful okay then after doing that now the next thing is going to be now putting this content that you're seeing here so the first thing is going to be our child okay okay so this child is going to have the padding of uh, of what i mean going to have a container with the padding of symmetric 15 okay then uh it's going to have a column inside it so come here and give a child and then pass the column and then after passing the column now we're going to give this card this first beautiful blue card that you're seeing here so let's go ahead and create that card and then we give the child that card which is going to be okay let's first give this parameter this card you can pause the video and look at these parameters here okay so this is supposed to be in container i mean in, in children like this okay so after doing that now we're going to give the child of this of this first card that you're seeing there so the child is going to be a column since we're going to have these items next to these ones so it's going to be a column that's going to have children okay so after we're going to give a row that's going to have um this x that's going to okay let's go ahead and design this row so going to have here there here a row and then in this row it's going to have children okay the first item in that row we're going to give it a 10 width and then after we're going to give the expanded and give that expanded a child of uh, the name of our application and the text with i mean the text so this is expanded which is having a, a new application and then it has a style and then it has uh, the text style this one that, one that i'm showing you here okay with that color okay so you can pause the video and look at it all right so i'll go ahead and save and then we'll be able to have that kind of um, ui so after doing that so the next thing that you're going to do is now to do what is now to uh, So this 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 container, uh, it's, this column has a container around it, so I can surround it with a container of which I can give um, a symmetric uh, padding of uh, height fifteen, so it can be kind of that one. Okay. Right. so after doing that so the next thing that we're going to do is now to add is not add what is not we have added this expanded and uh we're going to put now this icon of adding next to this row okay so after this expanded we put the icon of a plus next to that row so when i save i'll have that icon of plus next to that row as you can see it here So that is uh, beautiful so far. You can see it has a price listener. All right, so that is uh, so nice. Okay, so after doing that, um, uh, the next thing is going to have a height of uh, 10 next to the row. We're going to have height of 10. Okay. And then after that row, we're going to have uh, the text that is center, which is going to be an Ethereum balance, okay? E so this is nothing but text next to that 10 height. 
that is having this tail, the one that you can see here. Okay. So if I save, I'll have this Ethereum balance. Okay. And then after, I go ahead and put uh, the text that's going to show the balance. Okay. Okay. So you have that beautiful thing there. Then after doing that, the next thing you're going to put um, the balance in form of what? Of USSD. So this is nothing but text that I'm styling. You can also style them in your own way. Okay. Then you'll have that balance in that color. Then after, you're going to have a container with height of 35. And then we'll have that container there with the height of 35. All right, so that is beautiful so far. Now, after doing that, now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to have outside that card, we're going to have a height of, of five, okay, outside this card. So I'll come here to the column. I mean, outside this card, we're going to have a height of five. All right, sorry, should be in the column, comma, five next to the card, this blue card. Okay, which you can collapse from here. So you can pause the video and see how you design such kind of a blue card. Okay, then after we're going to go ahead and uh, now put a row that is going to have this send and receive. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So you can just simply put a row that's going to have children and um, the first child, you're going to have it as expanded. Okay. So they can be equal. So the child of this column is going to be expanded. Um, expanded. All right. After we are going to give this expanded a child of a card. Okay. Child of a card. Right now we are designing this send. Okay. So this card we are going to give it um, the shape parameter and also the color parameter. Okay. You can pause and look at it and the clip behavior. So it's just a shape and then elevation and then the clip behavior. Okay. And then after we're going to put a child in this card. So since this card, uh, so after going to put a container inside it. So the main child of this card is going to be the container. All right. And then after we're going to have now the container that is going to have a, a padding of 15 on all sides okay so padding of 15 on all sides and then it you see it is here okay then this is going to, the container is going to have a child of a row of a row and uh, uh, the row is going to have children is going to have a clip avatar okay so this row is going to have children. So the first child is going to be a clip avatar. Okay. So this clip avatar is going to take a radius of 12. So I'm trying to create this kind of a button here. So I'm going to put a radius of 12. And it's also going to have a child. A child. Uh, okay. Radius of 12. And then I'll go ahead and give it um, the background color of... Uh, of what of of uh, gray 10 and then i give it an icon that's going to have the arrow up icon which has the color of 40 and then the size of 14 okay that's going to be the child of that okay so that is our clip art that is uh, this user interface <clears throat> so if i come here i'll go ahead and keep that information to the clip art i import these colors so when i save i'll have that beautiful icon that is in pointing up with that kind of uh, color. Then after next width, I'm going to give a width of 15. And then after, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a style of, uh, a style of, uh, that you can see here, body and color and also the font weight 
of uh, 500 okay so i can have that send here uh, so i'll have that beautiful user interface okay so you can see it there all right so after doing that uh now the next thing i want to put a separator that will separate the two okay so come and collapse this expanded and put a separator that's going to spread the two width of five so i have it here okay and then after i'm going to put the same user interface okay but it's going to have the icon that points down which has the word receive okay so i'll go ahead and do that can collapse it so for you going to design the same thing but with the arrow that points down and then i put it there so i'll be able to have uh, such beautiful interface okay we'll send and receive that is so nice i hope you can see that all right so after doing that now we're going to go ahead and design now this uh word today okay so it's going to be next to the row this one that we have so i can collapse this row and then i put comma and I put container of height 10, this one here, so it can be spaced. And then I give um, uh, a what? We we'll give you a text of today with that color and that font weight. Okay. So, and uh, that style. So you can pause the video and see how we design this just word today. You can also write your own style if you want to. But it should be almost looking like mine, so it shouldn't be so much different from mine for the beginning. Then after, we're going to go ahead and give it a height of uh, 5. Okay. Then after, we're going to go ahead and now create a what? A card. So let's go ahead and create a card now. So... I put a shape okay so as you can see there and then after you give it a, a child Uh -huh. So this child, we are going to have padding of uh, alt 15. And then we are going to have a row. Okay, so we are designing this right now. We are going to have a row. The child with this container. Okay, so we want to put this icon first. So this row is going to have alignment, cross alignment of start. It's going to have children. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to put there, we are going to put there circle avatar of 12 and child icon of R down and then the color of gray, something like that. I hope you can see that. Okay. So after doing that, now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to go ahead and put a container of 15. So right now we're designing this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put a container of 15. Uh, that's going to have width of 15. And then after, we're going to put now a column. You know, this is having a the word receive on top. And then next to it, there is a, uh, the date. Okay. So it's going to be a column. So go ahead and put column. And then after, we're going to have children inside there. Okay. So I make the cross axis alignment to be start. Okay. And then after, we are going to go ahead and uh, put the first child as the word receive with that color that you're seeing on top there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put that first child as receive with the color of blue as you can see it and that style. 
So if I save, I'll have receive, okay? Then next to receive, we're going to have a height of t of five, so it can separate this height to the next word. Uh -huh. And then in this height, we're going to have now the text of um, style 14, okay? So this text style, okay, and um, height of 14 like this all right so after doing that uh we'll be able to do what uh to have this beautiful interface remember it is a column so it is having receive and then this date okay and that text so after having that column now we're going to put a what we're going to put a spacer that's going to space, space this content from the next column so I'll go ahead and put the spacer in between here sorry next to the column okay should be in this row okay so this is the co first column and then we have uh, a spacer that's going to have uh to separate the two from the other okay so let's go ahead and design now put this ethereum balance and also in ssd so let's go ahead and do that so i'll come here and put the column and give it children okay so the first child is going to have uh I mean, sorry, we're going to have the alignment to end, and then the first child is going to be having children and this content that you're seeing here, this one. Okay, so that's the first child. Okay, this content. All right, uh, then after doing that, uh the next thing is uh going to give to give it a height of five the space of height of five and then after we are going to put uh, uh what we're going to put uh this text of ssd this so come here put the text and then we'll have that ssd there okay so I can pause the video and see how I've done design this. So we'll end up having that kind of uh, beautiful interface, okay, which is separated by the word by the column. So you can see how you implement this one in different ways. It can be a static, it can be a finance application or something of that kind. Okay. Then after we are going to have now the card that is going to contain these dressed ones. So it is going to be exactly the same card but different. Uh, data so you can pause the video and start designing the same cards but with different data so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and collapse this card and then add other cards which is going to be these ones okay so I'll come here copy this this is the first card that we just designed so i'll come here and add this other card here which is going to look like the first but just a few differences then you'll have something like that okay then i collapse it i create another card again i copy this one and then i'll have something beautiful like that all right so then at last i put maybe the height of uh, 40, 40 20 so that it should always be mixed with the what with the bottom view in if someone's phone is small how it has a smaller screen so you can see those are my widgets and how i've designed them then lastly i'm going to put now the bottom navigation okay so this bottom navigation is going to be next to the scroll view okay to the to the single child scroll view So bottom navigation bar it's going to be a child of what of the scaffold okay so come here the scaffold and then give it a child of bottom navigation bar then this bottom navigation bar you're going to put the bottom navigation bar itself all right so it has to take uh the selected color okay 
the selected color will be white and selected color will be gray of 400 and then the current index is going to be the index that we're going to set here and then it's going to be the show selected labels to be false okay so you can start writing these things for the video and then give it on tap listener then we go ahead and get the index that has just been sent to us and then set state and update the index and then we have items in it all right so let's go ahead and do that so copy those i can pause the video and write them down or in your application put them in the bottom navigation now this index we have created it let's go ahead and create that variable of index so i went to, you can come here outside scaffold and then could put the int of int of current index to be zero okay this one there okay then after it's going to have uh, items okay so these items is going to have um bottom navigation of background color so each bottom navigation will have a background color and uh, an icon and uh, the label in case you want to put maybe the text there okay so that, that's what each is going to take here so i'll copy and put there the first so you can look at it so that's the first item you can go ahead and create the next item okay so you're going to have a background color and the icon and the label in case you want to put the other label okay so go ahead and do that also so that I, so if i save i'll have that and then let me finish the remaining ones okay then i'll end up having this kind of what over the bottom navigation so i can even be able to switch something beautiful like that so you can do the logic of when you switch you change you change the what the tab icons you see that is beautiful isn't it so if you want to put maybe the labels you can write and put their labels okay if you want uh the labels so but for me i'm not interested in the labels so i keep them what i keep them empty so you'll end up having such a beautiful thing all right so that is how uh you design uh such kind of a user interface In the meeting in the car. <laughs> so, uh, my friend is here disturbing me. So called in the, in the meeting. So, so, that is how you can design uh, what? That's how you can design such a user interface. Uh, and I've taken you step by step, so you should be able to practice and be able to achieve such a, a beautiful thing. Okay, so this is what we're being able to achieve today. So you can go ahead and uh, also try these ones. So you see, that's beautiful what you have achieved today. Make sure that you also practice, don't just watch as, as a movie. So you can go ahead and uh, do what you can go ahead and um, give a challenge to yourself and. Um, practice design this one so the other one uh, had a blue background uh, this one should be a totally light user interface the challenge yourself and design this one go ahead and challenge yourself and design this one they like uh, sorry this one of flight like the one that you did in the previous videos so for me i've just shown you the two and then for you can do uh these remaining ones which are almost the same ideas don't just watch but watch as you do what watch as you practice so uh that's it for today i'm going to leave you and uh make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel so when we publish the next video you're able to do what you're able to follow up and also what i emphasize is that um don't just watch these uh tutorials like movies watch them as you practice so that's it for today we meet in the next lecture in the next lecture 
I'm going to train you how we can do uh, chatting systems, a clone of WhatsApp. This is what you're going to do in the next lecture. So make sure that you don't miss and also also be able to show you how you can do something like a, a Facebook user interface for the chatting system. So it's going to be very, very useful. So, all right, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, see you in the next lecture. Make sure that you practice and uh, don't watch like uh, movies. All right, guys, goodbye and see you tomorrow.